You know what, guys, thanks to you, thanks to so many of you here in Australia, we just broke a new, a new record. This even could be a world record when it comes to an entire country and their solar deployment of 81%. 81%, what does that mean? Well, I'll explain it in a second. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Well, great to have you with us anyway. Unfortunately, I can't see you. I wish I could. That'd be, that'd be much better. Here in Australia, millions of people have installed solar on their roofs. But surprisingly, a lot of, a lot of people haven't here. Now, Australia is incredibly lucky. We get very, very cheap solar. In fact, our solar systems on average cost half. I'm serious. Half of what you guys pay in the United States. So in the US, a new study was just revealed. This study said over the life of a solar system, if you were to install it within the last two years or today, you'll save an average of $50,000. A lot of Australians complain about the cost of electricity, but for some baffling reason, refuse to install solar on their roofs, even though the cost is minuscule. Solar panels are literally twice as efficient today as in they will harness twice as much energy as what they were around 15 years ago. And the price of solar panels is around 70% lower. I mean, it's a no-brainer. You can literally pay off your solar system within the a minuscule amount of time, and then you're just simply getting f free electricity. A lot of Australians, fortunately, have picked up on this, and I myself actually removed the solar uh, from my house here because the solar system was relatively small because I wanted to put a big one on to be able to charge my EVs to run my, 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 my sauna. It's a big eight kilowatt Finnish steam sauna, which is fan, guys, fantastic for your health. I highly recommend using a sauna every day. A study in Finland said that morbidity was reduced by 51% over a 20 year study on 10,000 people. And the 51% number was from people who used the sauna four times a week. Now getting back to solar, my system here, was installed by a company called Resync Solar. They have the best reviews of any solar company here in Australia. I highly recommend you use them. I don't make anything from telling you guys this. I'll put a link in the description below. And this is a link where they've told me that if you guys use this, they'll give you a discount on your system. Australian rooftop solar has reached an 81% record high. Power production from rooftop solar continues to reach new milestones here in Australia, meeting more than 80% of electricity demand in the state of South Australia on the weekend. You know, there's an article, guys, that was written a few days ago by an American newspaper, I'm not going to say who they were, that said, we have too much solar here in Australia. Literally, that's the headline. Uh, Australia has too much solar. It's like it, painting this as a negative. Incredible. The Australian energy market operator, AEMO, said mild temperatures and clear skies across South Australia, which is, we're in, we're in a winter here right now in Australia, saw the state set a new single day winter minimum operational demand record of 264 megawatts that was down on the previous low of 304. Renewables contributed 138% of South Australia's demand with rooftop solar providing 81.2%. So renewables contributed 138% of demand. In other words, 38% more than what people actually needed. Utility scale solar contributed 32.7% and wind 24.6%. So you can see here a combination of solar farms and rooftop solar was more power than what the entire state used. The entire state. I mean, the numbers here, 81.2 plus 32.7. So you're looking at 114% just from solar panels. The mild conditions delivered a new winter low for operational demand in Victoria as well. Solar in Victoria, though, there's nowhere near as much. Rooftop solar hit 44% of demand in Victoria. But with solar farms, it ended up being around 60%. So Victoria, 60% came from solar. This is winter, guys. It's quite a remarkable result. Now, AEMO said the high contribution from renewables at the time had a huge effect on wholesale electricity prices dropping to $45 per megawatt hour in South Australia and $46 per megawatt hour in Victoria. Proves my point. And I still get people sending me emails saying renewable energy is making power more expensive. It's doing the exact opposite. Every time we have this kind of big renewable surge, we get these record numbers. The cost 
of electricity on the wholesale market goes down. Now, if your supplier decides to charge you more, that's them making that decision. That's got nothing to do with the actual wholesale electricity prices. Recent analysis by solar industry consultant SunWiz showed that national market volumes for rooftop solar PV installs reached a record 302 megawatts in Australia in July 2024, which is 10% higher than any other July and a record for any month in the April to October period. Record numbers of people are installing solar systems on their roofs. But I still drive around and I still see so many houses without it. And I think, are you mad? I mean, where I live in Newcastle, it is so sunny here. You have to be mad not to have a solar system. It doesn't make any sense. Overall, July was our fifth best month on record since SunWinds made as director. The July total was a 23% increase on last year. So the number of solar panels that were installed here in Australia in July this year was 23% more than last year. That, my friends, is a really good number. We are on track, there's no doubt about it, towards 100% renewable energy generation here in Australia. My estimate will be around 2035. By then, all coal power, all gas, I believe will have disappeared from the Australian grid. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, no, 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 that's not gonna happen, that's that. Well, have a look at all the big batteries being installed here in Australia. When we have so much solar, we have wind and these mega batteries, do we really need fossil fuels? Well, absolutely not. South Australia is proving that is the that is clearly the case. You can have a huge grid supporting millions of homes that doesn't need any fossil fuels whatsoever. 